Um, I made a mistake. Good morning. Hi everyone. Gloomy day in the Portland area. It's been sunny literally all week long. Like sunny and 70 degrees. So it's been quite a treat. I've been going out on the back porch, soaking up the sun as much as I can. Alas, we are back to the rain for a week, I think. Saturday morning, so I slept until nine. I just made some honey lemon tea. My allergies are still killing me, but I only have one agenda item today as far as like work and school. And then um, other than that, we're gonna see what we get into. I just posted a video on my lifestyle channel yesterday all about gratitude in times of loss and chaos and I think it's a really good one for the time so I'll link that down below you can check it out and definitely just check out my lifestyle channel. In general I've been posting there every Friday and here every Monday Wednesday so subscribe. My dad and I are making biscuits and gravy to start off the day. This is the recipe we're working with. White cheddar draw biscuits. It's gonna be delicious. And dad's got the gravy under wraps. Check out this bag of flour. We ain't fooling around in here. I accidentally grated an extra half cup of cheese. You can never have too much cheese, according to me. I've got seven in the oven, a couple more on this sheet. After my flour fiasco, I switched over to using the upright mixer and things went much smoother from there. Gravy looks like it's well on its way. We did it. They actually turned out pretty good. I haven't tried it with the gravy yet, but I bet it's a match made in heaven. Simple biscuit taste test was divine. Biscuits and gravy is my favorite breakfast. My dad makes the best gravy on this planet. If you disagree, you're wrong. I'm gonna go stuff my face. So. It's 10 p.m. and so far today, I did an hour and a half of work for the theater office. Watched the entire show, Too Hot to Handle, and played Animal Crossing. So I'd say it's been a successful day. I plan on filming tomorrow too, but I wanted to tell you all about the show, Too Hot to Handle. They put attractive people together, like you think it's gonna be Love is Blind, and then they tell them that they're not allowed to do anything really physically intimate. Every time they do something, they get money deducted from the prize money. So it starts off as a $100,000 prize. Every kiss is worth $3,000. It's like, it's a crazy show. I would highly recommend it. And then I just started Married at First Sight. My back hurts really bad from laying in bed all day. Tomorrow I'm gonna do some extra yoga in the morning. For tonight, I'm probably gonna FaceTime Glenn soon and we might finish watching Tiger King. Tomorrow I'm gonna wash my hair and re-dye my ends. See you tomorrow, here it goes. feeling really good this morning. Did 20 minutes of yoga, did an affirmation meditation, was reading my book about the law of attraction, I was a radiating being, and then I flooded the laundry room. We got it cleaned up and we're back on track. I read some more of The Secret. I found just randomly and out of nowhere this sticky note that Maria must have left in my book like our senior year of high school. It says, if you find this, it means I love you. That just made my heart glow. That's exactly what I needed to get my thinking back on track. I've been in, uh, doing a lot more research about the law of attraction. I used to know a lot and uh, used to be a good practicer of thoughts become things and then I stopped. So I'm rereading The Secret. I had made a video about gratitude on my lifestyle channel, specifically gratitude in times of loss and sadness and tragedy and chaos like we're experiencing right now. So I'll link that down below if you wanna check it out. You definitely should. Today, I really wanna play Animal Crossing. My new resident services should be built. I think I'm gonna to talk to my friend Ahun on the phone today. I think I'm gonna to talk to my friends Casey, Peter, and Kai on the phone today. And I think I'm gonna to talk to Glenn on the phone today. So it's a social Sunday. I finished all my work yesterday, so today I can just do whatever the heck I want. And yesterday it was rainy, but today the sun is peeking out, so I might go on a walk. It's a great day to be alive, and we are feeling good. I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing. My mom. Can I see my- Oh, there I am. I'm like, where am I? Hi, everyone. 
I just FaceTimed on for a little while. Mwah, I miss you. I'm glad we got to chat for a little while. I've opened my window and it's time to fold my freaking laundry. And I'm gonna watch Married at First Sight. We are still rocking and rolling today. I haven't gone outside yet. But I did play Animal Crossing and I started construction on a new bridge, which means that now I owe Tom no $298,000 between my house and the bridge. So I'm probably gonna do some fishing and some fruit collecting and some traveling to other islands for materials after this in order to maintain face. I want to at least pay off my home loan today. Bye. Came outside with my water to soak up a little bit of sun peeking out from behind the clouds. Gonna FaceTime Glenn here in a couple minutes. Got my peeps. We are living large. I haven't paid off my home loan yet, but I'm pretty close. I'm still wearing a sweatshirt and my PJ pants, so we're definitely not at the 72 degrees we were at earlier this week, but the air feels good and I'm happy. Has anyone else seen aliens flying in a straight line over Washington state slash the Portland area around 9 p.m. for the past couple of nights because I have and I'd like to know what they're up to. Quarantine's enough without aliens. I think they're satellites, but still it's very shocking to see like 20 satellites in a line flying across the night sky. If anyone has any info, drop a comment. I just dyed my hair pink again with my overtone. I have a video on my lifestyle channel all about it. Leave it down below. Check it out. I'm gonna go call my friends from London. I'm clean. I'm fresh. Gonna put on my London socks and probably watch more Married at First Sight later. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I've been posting videos here every Monday, Wednesday, and on my other channel every Friday. Check them out for entertainment. I hope you're all healthy and sane and safe, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, bye!